Hey there, so if you're launching your first meta campaign, here are some quick tips to find your winning ad fast. Okay, so I'm gonna be launching through Play, but of course all the principles apply if you're launching back on meta natively. So first I'm gonna tap on the selector, and I'm gonna fill out this form over here. For our goal, I'm gonna set it to leads for instant lead forms within Meta. It's a great starter campaign objective as well because it's really results oriented. And now I'm gonna actually prompt in here, for example, for this coffee shop, custom coffee lens. I'll just tap on improve to let the AI help me come with a better prompt than the one that I'm actually doing. So, craft two for every taste, for example. And now I'm gonna also add some raw assets so that I do not have to do so much generation of creatives. And after that, we're gonna go directly into the actual generation. I have some media uploaded, but you can also scan your website over here. Or of course, generate it with AI or use our stock images. Um, I'm gonna grab this one over here and crop it to the proper size. Now I'll tap on generate. So since we're using play, this will now use first that image that we used in there to generate different videos and images and everything for us. But of course it's the same if that if we were doing them manually. It's simply a faster way to create them with AI following the best practices for Meta. And of course, all the other stuff like targeting and so on will also be made by the AI. Since we're using Play to launch, the AI will grab that image that we dropped in there and generate different creatives and the targeting and everything for us. But everything that we will talk about will apply to launching as well natively as we were saying. So now that it finished generating, we have different images and videos selected by the AI for us. It also generated our primary text and headlines, but let's delve into the best practices now. First of all, we want to be testing different approaches. We want to be testing different creatives, especially if it's our first campaign. Of course, this is ready to launch according to the best practices, but you also need to find your audience. And this means to test out different possibilities, these different features. So first of all, I'm gonna open the image selector and I'm gonna add more variations because these are beautifully made, but it's only one of the possibilities that we have. We can also do text to image, for example. I'll just tap on this rustic coffee shop option and do boot for your taste, for example, and tap on generate. Once the image generates, you can already tap on it to add it in here. I'm gonna generate a few more and drop them right in here. Even stuff like memes can be used, you know? So if you have some time, you can really go out there and generate some memes. In the case of Play, we have our meme generator feature. All you have to do is drop a prompt. In this case, I did like a me before my morning coffee and I simply tapped on generate and it generated a whole massive amount of memes for us to test out. Regarding videos, you'll also find really similar options. Uh, and the same principles apply. You want to be testing smart creatives, your own stuff, AI avatars as well. These are great at lowering your cost per lead. So if you can test out some AI avatars into your campaigns, do so. It's a really simple style form. All you need to do is open the video generator, go to the AI avatar option and tap on new video. This will pre-fill a lot of the information that you need in here. And then you can add some images on the backgrounds or videos. I'm just gonna add some images of our coffee shop. After you filled out this section, you can simply tap on next and this will start loading 
all of the scripts in this case for you to select and you can fully customize them and edit them or even start from scratch. As you can see, this generates a whole bunch of scripts for you and if you tap on this edit button, you'll be able to fully customize it. In my case, I'm not gonna actually modify it that much, I'll simply press on next. There are multiple AI avatars, just choose the one that actually sounds or looks like your audience and tap on next. And then you'll be able to choose from a whole vast collection of accents, I simply leave it on default and tap on create video. Once it finishes generating, simply tap on it to select it, and now we're ready to see all of the different combinations. Just tap on that button on the bottom, and now let's click on it, you can see how each of these combine with the different headlines and descriptions, so it's one of the images or videos per row, but it's variating all of the combinations of text and headlines. I always thought coffee was just coffee. So you can see how we have the memes and the text and the stock images and our GPT generated images for all the different placements that we're going to be running our ads in. This is perfect to find out what your audience resonates with and in that way to improve your ads further on. So now let's take a quick look at the primary text and headlines. This will look perfect. Uh, you can see how they are already automatically testing some different approaches in here. But if you want, you can make it even more extreme by asking the AI to regenerate it in a specific tone, maybe friendly, maybe inspirational. And in that way, you can also A-B test your written text, your copy. Regarding the targeting, I do recommend leaving it broad. So let it do your related targeting for you. If you want, or if your audience is too niche, you can also do AI targeting, which will allow you to optimize your campaigns based on user interaction with your ads. But that is the only thing I would say to modify in there. Regarding age and gender, also leave it broad so that you have room to see what's working and what's not. Only make sure to set your location properly. Do not narrow down too much because it might have difficulty running in those cases. But be specific, you only want to be serving the area where you're willing to work. So if you're offering a local service, do not offer at the whole state level, because that will mean a lot of traveling for you. Then you have some other optional configurations, you know, you can do advanced placements and language targeting and so on, but I do not recommend setting any of these, because we're still at a stage where we're finding out where our audience lives, what they like and everything. So simply leave it broad, let your targeting be the location and your interests are AA targeting. Below this, we'll find our lead selector. If you have been running lead ads, you will be able to choose them from here. But of course, this is our first campaign. So we're gonna create our lead form. And as you can see, it has different steps. The first one is the intro. It's not mandatory, but I do recommend adding a greeting in here. The AI will generate it for you because it's a great place to hype up your audience. I'll leave it as it is, it sounds perfect as it is. Uh, then you have the form type. I do recommend setting it to higher intent, that will find you higher quality leads. And now the crucial step, the lead info and questions. In the top area, we'll find all of the information that we will use to contact our leads, so the email, the full name, the phone number, and any other thing that we might need in here. Uh, of course, make sure that you get the data that you need to actually contact your leads in here. And then the custom questions, which are of course optional, but it's a best practice to add at least one to three short answer questions. They can also be multiple choice, but I do like short answer questions particularly. You have the AI here to help you generate these questions, but of course you can write your own stuff. So if we were a local service, we would do something like, how soon do you need our services? And of course, if we were a coffee shop like we are, and maybe we're looking for people to book a table or something, we can do, how soon are you looking to visit? Really simple, short, and to the point. Remember, one to three short answer questions. One is more than enough most of the time, so do not go crazy adding more and more information in here. 
And with this, you will not only qualify your leads, but you will also be able to launch a second ad later on with more information about your audience, about what they like, about how soon they need your services and so on. Then just add your privacy policy and the completion step, which is where you will be sending these users after you collect this data. It can be your website, it can be to give you a call, it can even be a Google Drive doc, so maybe it can be simply your offering or your latest listing or whatever it is that you're doing. Just tap on create and you'll be ready to go. Now let's set up our budget. You want to get started at a budget that you feel comfortable with running for at least one to two weeks, which is what the learning phase takes to run. For that first 14 days, you probably don't want to issue any modifications to the campaign, just leave it running smoothly. So maybe you can get started at $8 a day or $10 a day or something like that. We have, of course, a recommendation area to help you come up with your budget. Uh, and of course, you can also contact us to ask for advice regarding this or our chatbot. And with that, we're ready to launch our first campaign. Once it goes live, remember to keep it running for at least one to two weeks without issuing modifications because that will restart the learning phase. And after a few days, you want to come back to the Advertise tab and tap on the first button over here to check out the results. So all the KPIs and every single image and audience and so on will have its own metrics so that you can actually tell what's working and what's not. That's why we're starting broad to find out which age groups, which locations, which creatives, and which primary text and headlines are working for us, and which ones are not. And after a while, we can launch a second ad with a much more specific creative, which with a much more catered audience, and so on and so on. And that's the easiest way to use the AI to your advantage, with less guesswork and faster results. Mm -hmm.